The Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Okay, so let's say you have a soil applied herbicide down, but it's been dry and that herbicide maybe hasn't been activated. What do you scout for to see if that, that soil applied herbicide is working? And so we'll just focus down here. We can see some small seedling weeds like common ragweed, green foxtail. They're at about the two leaf stage. Uh, so the fact that they're there is not great. It means that there wasn't a lot of moisture. It perhaps hasn't activated the herbicide and stopped them from coming out of the ground. When do you kind of say, uh, these are full on escapes and I need to come in here and do reconnaissance? And so this is where you'd probably come back in the next two to three days and see if it's gained another leaf. And if it's, it's gaining leaves, that means that it's probably not gonna die. Uh, you need to go in and, and respray that, rescue it. Now, if we get miraculously an inch of rain today, uh, that could activate the herbicide enough to take down some of these one, two, three leaf grasses. We have some grasses here just poking out. So if we get moisture in the next 24, 48 hours, it could be enough to take those down. But if we see any grass growth, uh, it's probably not going to work. And so now we start planning to come in here uh, with a rescue treatment. So we can buy ourselves a little time, but we want to focus on growth of those grasses. So here's an example of a soil applied herbicide where it's been dry, not a lot of moisture to activate it, but you can see this annual grass has just come out and there is symptoms on that grass plant of, of you know, taking up herbicide. If we get a good half inch inch of rain in the next 24, 48 hours, that might be enough to, for this plant to take up a little bit more and die. But if, we, if it stays dry, that's probably gonna come out of it and we'll know once we see another leaf or two leaves of grass come from that point.